Now let me tell you. Let me tell you this, right? Kevin Hart's a good friend of mine. I know Kevin Hart's a good this friend of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys have some hilarious moments, especially on on, on the gram. We're gonna bring that up a little later. I love Kevin Hart's one. I love what it represents, what it stands for. Only thing I'm saying is I've never seen a run like Eddie Murphy. And what I mean by that is right. I used to see people go get dressed to go to the movies to see Eddie Murphy. Like, they would get dressed as if they were in the damn movie. Yeah. Like, I used to see lines around the cor- like corner. Like, when Ed- Eddie Murphy movie dropped, it was like... Christmas almost. I had never seen nothing like that before that and since. I wasn't really around for the Richard Pryor days. Me either. Um, yeah. So, what, what, didn't you were supposed to play Richard Pryor? We get to that. I think no, I did. No, no. Yeah, you should. All right, come on. <laughs> God damn it. Um, Everybody but, uh, says that, but, hey, yeah. but yeah, yeah. I'm I'll take the right. check. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what, what, did, what, did you see Eddie's run when it was, I'm talking about, yeah. uh, at the height? I, see, I'm, I'm like you. I came up during the Eddie era. So, mm-hmm. that was, he was the hero. He's mm-hmm. the guy. You know what I mean? I think what, the, the difference with Eddie and everybody else is no one has ever seen Ed, what Eddie did. Mm. Eddie was the first to do a lot of shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Even though he he patterned himself after Richard. Yeah, he took, right. he just took it took it yeah. He took it a, a different place. The same mm. way Michael Jordan uh, patterned himself after Dr. J. Dr. J, nasty on the dunks. Right. Jordan just put a lot more extra flair into what he did. Right. So I feel like Eddie was that guy with the, the versatility with the characters and mm-hmm. the movies and all that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Kevin gets compared because he's he beasting, has to. right? He has to. So he gets compared to Eddie all the time. But the right. difference between Kevin and Eddie is Kevin, by the time we see Kevin's success, we've already seen Eddie and Martin mm-hmm. and the Wayans family. Mm-hmm. So we have so many people before, but when Eddie broke, there was no one doing it like Eddie. That right. rock star shit in the right. 80s. Right. Leaping right. over white people and having right. box office success. Right. Hanging out with Rick James. Hanging out with Rick James, all that he shit. He had a music career. Everything. My yeah. girl just want yeah. to party all the time. Party all the time. Party all the time. You could yeah. just picture there was a lot of cocaine in oh, the background. Man. There was just was, a whole bunch of these. It was powdery. powdery. Oh, yes, it was yeah. powdery. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. yes. Um, um, but Kev, you know, I get I get mad sometimes when I go on the clubhouses and I go on, um, you know, Twitter and things like that, and they have trending topics like Kevin mm. Hart ain't funny. I, I can't. I don't understand that. I, I went into a room like that one time with. Uh, they said Tiffany Haddish ain't funny. And normally what that is is trolls. So when I went in that room, she jumped in it too. Okay. And mm. she, she for was about she stayed in for about an hour, but I spent about ten minutes telling them niggas, don't do that corny shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because no matter if you affect five people, why you that, knew the people that was running? Yeah, I didn't know any of them. Oh, okay. I just went in there and started screaming okay. on people. Right, I was cool. like, look, man, cool. Y'all out here doing this troll shit. They was like, no, we just wanted to get her in here so we could talk to her about some issues over in in Africa. All right, what cool. The fuck. I get that, right? But to go and say someone's not funny, to go against, right. to post something against their livelihood. Right. Black people are always talking about we don't have enough and we don't have mm-hmm. this, but we're the first people to do some mm-hmm. dumb shit like that, to troll each other. Right. So you're going to potentially take money out this lady's right. pocket and right. food off her table because right. you want to get a room started. Right. So I was just barking about yeah. that kind of shit. Like it's, That's so like I hate when they shit. do that to uh, Kevin, yeah. to whoever. But yeah, I, I mean, corny. I only really see it to Kevin. I've never seen the Tiffany Haddish thing. I yeah. think Tiffany's hilarious. I think Kevin's hilarious. I think every comedian is great for their own rights. Yeah, everybody got a lane. Mm-hmm. Everybody's eating. They didn't get there by accident. To no, where exactly. At. You know and, like, to tell you the truth, <clears throat> I think the only thing getting on harder from the bottom and having to get all the way to the top is comedian shit. When you hear, like, the growing up stories of people getting $100 a night and then having to wait... Like you know, to the end of the night to get ten minutes or two yeah. minutes on the stage, yeah. or getting bumped off stage. Oh yeah, like uh, a big, uh, bigger comedian yeah. will come and they be like, "Yo, Happens you can't." Every time. Yeah, you can't like that. That to me, that's like almost maybe a, a little rough in the hip hop. We got the Chitlin circuit in hip hop, which right. is pretty foul. But um, comedian. So, so in order to be somebody in in, in, in a comedic comedic world, you got to go through this. There's no one who just comes out and just gets. It, it, it's, let me change up this question. 
Because there is some comedians who just get on Instagram, get some followers. Are they considered a comedian or are they considered Instagram funny? That's a, that's a, a big debate that, that's been going on for years now. <clears throat> Here's what I say to that. Mm. And I always draw parallels, so just bear with me. Mm. Um, Jesus spoke in parallels. Exactly. Okay. Come on now. Come right, on, brother. Come on. I'm on point. Let's <laughs> get go. On, get, get in your word, brother. Okay, let me get some habiki. <laughs> um, when it comes to comedians, and, and I think no matter the platform you use, mm -hmm. although they may not be traditional stand-up comedians mm -hmm. with that title, mm -hmm. if you on the on the gram or on social media and you have funny shit and you're mm -hmm. funny, mm -hmm. to me you're funny. Right. You may not be labeled a comedian, but you're right. funny as fuck, right? Mm -hmm. But I draw the parallel of hip hop in the '70s mm -hmm. when when rap first started, the bands of the mm. 70s was mad as shit mm. and they were like oh they not doing it right they mm. taking yeah. our music mm. and just saying they bullshit over it mm. that's not real music right. mm. it's a fad it's not gonna be around for a long time mm -hmm. we said the same shit about some of these tiktokers and some of these mm -hmm. uh, uh, snapchatters and mm. instagram people and people if doing you funny, YouTubers YouTubers right. if you funny you funny I use all platforms right I, cause I could do it all right, right. so I, my thing is if you funny you funny but if the platforms are available, use all of that shit. Absolutely. You know, yeah. hip hop is a billion dollar industry now, right. because if if they would have listened to the bands back then and gave up, right. we wouldn't have you, we right. wouldn't have right. nobody. You know what I'm saying? Right. Jay Z, Nas, nah, we wouldn't have none of that shit. Right. So, I don't I don't sit back and be like, nah, this person's not a comedian or knock they hustle or whatever. I'll jump in a collab video with them right. or do whatever if, if they if they nice with it. Because I guess what they're saying is some 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 of these guys is on Instagram. They're just funny on Instagram. You put them in a live show. Live show people are. Yeah, oh no, that happens though. Yeah. Like, you gotta know what your lane is. Right. If you're not about that life, don't jump lane. on the goddamn right. stage. You're gonna right. get your ass ate. Right, right, right. They, they <laughs> pause. You're gonna get your yeah. ass ate for real. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Sharp. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> have you, have you, you seen that recently? Nigga, yes. Yeah. Me and, uh, my, my boy Brandon Lewis, we okay. talk about this shit all the time. What's up, the Led Zeppelin shirt on? You yeah, know, yeah, that's what's going on. You know he like white bitches, nigga. Let's do it. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga, we talk about it all the time. Uh -huh. And there's comedians that be like, yo, 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 I'm on stage time. Let me get on, let me open up for you. Uh -huh. All right. What? <laughs> Every city I go to, I don't I don't shun no young comedian. Right, they be like, right. yo, let me let me go on stage tonight, like I'm ready. Uh -huh. All right. There's only been once right. that that somebody was like nice with it on the spot. About that life. About that life. What's his name? What was his name? <laughs> Down in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. I forget his Shout name. Not Florida. Not Lil Duval. No, 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 no. Duval. 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 Oh, Duval's no. a legend. <laughs> Duval's a legend. No, 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 no. Uh, ah, I forget his name. But anyway, he was funny. He was funny. Damn. Everybody else ate it. Every other city. It's different when you get in front of an audience, man. Yeah, yeah. audiences. You can be funny as fuck on your camera. And in your shower. But when you in front of people, yeah. you're going to freeze up. It changes the rhythm. It changes the stakes. Mm. You, you ain't on your right foot. You start mm. making excuses. Mm. Oh, man, I just want to come up here and say what's up to y'all, man. Hey, give it up for the ladies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give it up for the ladies. They look beautiful. <laughs> well, you saw oh, they beautiful. Yeah. They beautiful in. <laughs> Any mothers in the house? <laughs> you, you trying to get that stench of yeah. bad comedy off you? Yeah. With whatever you can fucking find. Yeah. Anybody ever got shot? <laughs> 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 Trying to relate to anything. Anything. <laughs> Anybody ever came late? <laughs> Anybody ever wake up? <laughs> right, 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 right. So when you see like the transition from like like Chris Rock, like like right, I just seen Chris Rock. Chris oh. Rock? Come yeah. on, man. <laughs> <laughs> when I see what transition, Dory. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, fuck out of here, man. Ain't no transition. <laughs> it ain't no transition. <laughs> I was always me, man. Me, man. But always me a bottle of nigga. I literally man. watched him in Saw. Hold on, man. I want to interview Chris Rock. Oh, yeah. I'm talking to Chris Rock. I'm talking to Chris Rock. I literally watched Chris Rock in Saw. And I was like, wow, like he did a role where he wasn't being funny. Like he was trying. Right, right, right. He was being real, real serious. And it was like, at some point, I was like, oh, he's not a comedian in here. I thought he was going to take Saw, but that's what it was, right? Like, it, it was that's yeah, the movie Saw, the franchise. Yeah. franchise. Yeah. He took a franchise. So I'm thinking at some point, <clears throat> it's going to be funny, and it's not. It's Samuel L. Jackson in there, serious as a motherfucker. Like, I'm like, oh, shit, this is not a comedy. I've never saw that. Like, even. No, no, they say the best actors are comedians first. Like Robin Williams. I think he was one of the best actors. Mrs. Doubtfire? Oh, no, for sure. Yeah, that's man. Mrs. Doubtfire? Goodwill Hunting was my favorite yeah. Robin Williams performance. 
Yeah, yeah I, I, I thought Goodwill Hunting is is Ben Ben Affleck and them niggas. No, but he's in. You there. didn't see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't Ben Affleck and Adam Van, Adam Dandon. Who? Good, Matt, Who? Matt, what, Matt, name, what name did you say? Adam Van Dandon. Matt, Matt. You sound like the guy who put stand up. Adam Van Dandon. Come on, Norm. Matt Damon. Yeah, Ben Affleck. <laughs> But what, why would you think that? He said, Kevin Federline. <laughs> ben ben, ben so, Affliction. Ben so, Affliction. You never heard that? That comedians make some of the best, like, dramatic actors? You know what it is? Um, I've never seen, like, Dave Chappelle dip into that. Yeah, he did. What are you talking he about? Did a movie Stars with, Born, uh, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You could tell I'm a nigga, nigga. I ain't watched that. You ain't watched that. <laughs> this nigga only watched Versus. Lady Gaga and Harry Boat Show. He only watched Versus. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, I do know that movie. Lady Gaga. That movie, Lady Gaga's in that movie, yeah. right? There you I'm go. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Holy moly, Facts. guacamole! So ah, uh, I'm a yeah. huge pun fan, by the way. Speaking oh, of terrorists, okay. Oh, you you a huge pun fan? Yeah, that's my man. Yeah, for sure. I ran Triz with him. No, I well, heard all the interludes. Clarify, <laughs> clarify, clarify that. I heard no. all the interludes. You know, we, we, we <laughs> y'all smashed a couple of things together. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all did shit. <laughs> <laughs> Never used to want to admit that, but hey, man, fuck it now. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? I went to his. He has a big pun. Um, Street Plaza. You yeah, should go yeah. visit that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Word up. Word up. Yep. Should go visit that. Go visit that. Mm-hmm. So, 